GitLens has a lot to offer when it comes to visualizing a file's Git history. Rather than just talk about the features, let's walk through a mock test process. We'll use the GitLens repo itself as an example. For this task, I want to add another AI provider to help autocomplete commit messages. To start off with, I search for files that include the string Anthropic. When I find one, anthropicprovider.ts, I start looking around inside of it. The inline blame and hover help me understand a specific line at a glance. I use this all the time in my other projects. But instead, I should probably look at things from a higher project level. For that, I open up the commit graph. Inside, I can see all the branches and commits and how they flow back into main. Beyond just visualization, I can even interact with the graph and dig much deeper into the details. Since I have a specific set of functionality I want to identify, I search again for Anthropic, but this time, I'm looking for related commits, not just files. I identify five possible commits I should look at. When I find the one I think is going to be most relevant, adds Anthropic AI support, I right-click the commit and inspect details to open up Git Lens Inspect. I can see the changes in that commit, which lets me know which files might be relevant. I can see the AI provider service.ts that gets modified at the same time as creating the file we found earlier. Using more of Git Lens Inspect, I can see the entire history of specific lines as well as the entire commit history for the file itself. If I want to see which commits had the biggest impact to this file, I can use the visual file history. And just like that, I've used inline blame, the commit graph, and Git Lens Inspect to figure out that I need to create a new provider that inherits from the AI provider service.ts all without having to reach out to another dev for help just yet.